Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. All right, welcome back everyone. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a parent actor. Now this is something that's really interesting because let's say we play our game here and let's say we have a group of enemies. Let's say there's like, you know, two, five or 10 different enemies that you want to destroy when you use the uh, projectile here. Well, this is actually really easy to do and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first things first, I'm gonna create a blueprint class and we'll just make it a simple actor. We'll call this enemy parent. Okay. And what this is going to do is that we, when the first person projectile um, hits the enemy parent, then um, it will destroy the parent here. So it's, it's actually pretty easy. So first things first is we need to add in a static mesh. Okay. And that way all of our children actors will have a static mesh. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's do that here. So let's go and let's add in some children actors here. So we're going to go create child blueprint class. Now this is one way to do that. Now I'm just going to type in um, some items here. Okay, that's one way to do it. The other way is to create a blueprint and under this usually it looks like this where it's collapsed here we go to enemy parent and you can actually see the enemy chair that's underneath it which is actually not very good. So let's do that here. Select here and we'll call this enemy table and you can do this, you know, for as many different items as you want. Okay, so let's hop into enemy chair here. And then um, you know, we could add in the static mesh here, by the way. And we'll say this is the chair. Right, compile. And then let's open up the table. Again, click the static mesh. We'll say table, compile. And then what we'll do is we'll drag out the chair. Here we go, the table, and we'll, we'll copy the chair over, right click, transform, mirror on the uh, Y here, make sure it's the right thing that you're clicking here, there you go, okay? So right now, doesn't do anything, but we can make it do something that's quite easy to do. So let's go ahead, let's hop into the enemy parent here and go to the event graph. Now what I'm going to do, um, is we need to basically say if the static mesh collides, so on component hit, the other actor is going to be the first person or projectile. Okay. And let's just test this out here. And sure enough, we can hit all of these here. Now let's just move this over so you can kind of see what I'm what I'm doing here. So basically, if I hit this here, or this, or this, or this, okay, it all works out. Now let's do it one more time just to kind of hit the hit the point home here. So um, we could add in, you know, enemy statue. Now I'm just using the standard content here, um, and let's hop into here and. For the static mesh, we're going to add in the statue. All right. And let's scale that up four, four, and four. And there we go. Okay. Compile it. Drag over here. And then you can see it's a pretty big statue. So, you know, within that statue, maybe we can make it gold. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Compile it again. And there we go. So we have this nice gold statue. And you can see, by the way, when I hit it, it still happens because it's a ch child of the, well, of the enemy parent there. So let's hop it back into that enemy parent here. And let's do a couple things. So first things first, as first person projectile, we will destroy actor. Okay. So we're going to destroy the first person projectile. And we're just going to destroy actor. Now, what actor are we going to destroy? Well, the self here. Okay, so let's compile that and let's run it here. So basically, 
when you do that, they all get destroyed. Now you can see how this, you know, if you had 10 or 20 or 30 different kinds of, you know, classes that you had to do that, if you did, you would have to write this out 30 times. Well, that's not efficient at all. This is what you need to do in order to make it, uh, well, work. Now, on the other thing you can do is you can say, um, well, is there a destroyed event destroy? We can uh, create a spawn actor from class. What class are we going to spawn? Um, well, we can spawn explosion, right? And then the transform is going to be um, the static mesh get world transform and then drag that in here. And I believe that should work. Let's double check that here. Ha, <laughs> sure enough. And there you go. That works out pretty well. Now, fun fact, I think that this is really neat, but the explosion was also scaled up as well. I thought that's kind of interesting as the whole static mesh was scaled up. It makes sense that that would tr um, uh, transfer over, but it might not be super obvious, all right? So there we go. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. If you really like this channel. The best way to, that we fund this channel is through our subscribers on our site and our digital products down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.